എവ്രിവാൻ അസ്സലാമു അലൈക്കും ആൻഡ് വെൽക്കം ബാക്ക് അപ്പൊ നമ്മൾ ഇന്ന് ഇൻട്രോ എടുക്കാൻ വന്നതാണ് സോ ദിസ് ഈസ് ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് ടൈം ഐ എം ടേക്കിംഗ് എ ഇൻട്രോ ഇൻട്രോ ലൈക്ക് ആദ്യമായിട്ടാണ് എടുക്കുന്നത് ഇൻട്രോക്ക് വേണ്ടിയിട്ട് സെറ്റ് ചെയ്തിട്ടൊക്കെ അപ്പം ഇന്ന് നമ്മൾ എന്താ നോക്കാൻ പോകുന്ന വെച്ചാൽ ഒരു റെസിപ്പീസ് ആണ് ഒരു ലഞ്ച് വ്ലോഗ് ആണ് ഇതിൽ വി വിൽ ബി ഷെയറിംഗ് എ ഫ്രൈഡ് റൈസ് റെസിപ്പി സിമ്പിൾ ഫ്രൈഡ് റൈസ് റെസിപ്പി പിന്നെ ഒരു അടിപൊളി റെസ്റ്റോറൻറ്റ് സ്റ്റൈൽ ചില്ലി ചിക്കൻ അതും കൂടി ഷെയർ ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ട് അപ്പോൾ ഈ കോമ്പോ നിങ്ങൾ ട്രൈ ചെയ്ത് നോക്കുക എന്നിട്ട് നിങ്ങളുടെ സജഷൻസ് എല്ലാം നമ്മളെ അറിയിക്കാം അതുപോലെ ഇഫ് യു ഹാവിൻ സബ്സ്ക്രൈബ് അവർ ചാനൽ പ്ലീസ് ടു ലൈക്ക് ഷെയർ ആൻഡ് സബ്സ്ക്രൈബ് ആൻഡ് ഹിറ്റ് ദ ബെലൈക്കൺ സോ ദാറ്റ് എനി നോട്ടിഫിക്കേഷൻസ് ഫ്രോം അവർ ആൻഡ് വിൽ ബി അപ്ഡേറ്റഡ് ടു യൂസ് സോ സ്റ്റേ ട്യൂൺ ദിസ് ഈസ് മീ ഫസാന so moving into our recipe so here we are preparing fried rice and chili chicken so i what i have done is i have separated some of the flesh from the meat and kept aside for fried rice and then the rest of the bone bone meat i have kept for preparing our chili chicken so here goes our uh, chicken pieces with bone for our restaurant style chili chicken so yes guys so i have taken around 1 kg of chicken here with bone and then goes 1 and 1/2 tablespoons of ginger garlic paste 1 teaspoon of pepper powder and salt to taste according to your levels you are adding salt at this point and then goes 1 teaspoon of vinegar and give a good combine once these ingredients are added so what we are going to do we are going to uh, marinate this for half an hour so for that we are we are just combining with vinegar pepper powder chicken pieces and ginger and garlic paste and then we will add one egg here so 1 kg of chicken i have taken one egg and also before adding our maida and corn flour just add one egg here and then give a good combine and after a good combine we are going to add our powders here the two powders the all purpose flour around 3 tablespoon of maida or all purpose flour and 4 tablespoons of corn flour so once these are added give a good combine and that's it we are going to rest it for 30 minutes so meanwhile we can prepare our uh, necessary requirements to prepare the chili chicken so here i am crushing ginger and garlic again garlic around 8 to 9 small pieces and then a medium piece of ginger i have crushed in my mortar and pestle and get aside now we need two onions here so while our marination is being on mode let's cut these veg- veggies and keep let it let us be ready so here two onions i am cutting in the form as you, as you can see in this video just like florets and one capsicum finely chopped you can take uh, medium size pieces here don't make it fine chop don't make it fine chop we are making it medium sized ones and here you can see onions also medium sized onions and then some a uh, spring onion so the spring onion i have separated the white part and green part and then chopped and let it be aside those are our veggies and next is the most important ingredient that chili chicken masala we need to prepare here so for that i am adding i am taking one cup of water in a bowl and then goes one teaspoon of vinegar and then the dark soy sauce around 3 tablespoons tomato ketchup around 1 tablespoon of tomato sauce or tomato ketchup you can take one tablespoon here goes then goes red chili powder 2 teaspoons and 1 and 1/2 tablespoons of corn flour so give a good mix here 
you can take even maida or all purpose flour if you don't don't have corn flour you can go ahead with 1 and 1/2 tablespoons of all purpose flour give a good combine so that no lumps are the and kept it as it so the texture should be of semi thick kind and keep it as it now we are ready to fry our marinated chicken pieces so as you can see i have heated the pan and i have transferred the whole chicken pieces to here as you can see one stir on one side let it flip to the other side and cook it very well When frying the chicken, ensure to keep the flame in low, and then uh, let's fry them out. So if you keep the flame in high, the chicken pieces will get burned, and the chicken pieces inside will not be cooked very well. So for that, let's keep the flame in low and cook all the pieces, flip over, and then cook the other side, take it out. So so that's it. So let's keep the rest over um, oil. So we will be using the oil later here, and now. heat another pan or kadai uh heat the pan and once the pan is hot let's add oil here i have added around 3 tablespoons of oil so i have taken the leftover oil from the chicken or uh, fry so you can go ahead with the fresh oil too but then here we are using the leftover itself and then goes the spring onion white let us add here the whole spring onion white we have chopped let's add here and then the ginger or uh, ginger chop ginger and garlic chop just add here so let's move on after frying let's move on adding the rest of the veggies except the spring onion green let's add capsicum and onions so here i have taken one capsicum and two onions i have said earlier so we have cubed into small dices and then add here so while preparing this is kind of chinese dish right so while preparing a chinese dish let's uh, keep the flame in high now because we are almost done with our chicken and it's just last part here so what we have to do is just keep the flame in medium flame or high flame and then we are going to make it over so here goes two red green chilies So if you want more spicy you can go ahead with that for your for kids and everybody we would prefer less spiciness so it's better to prefer less spicy otherwise our body will get heated soon so that's also a fact so let's come let's move on here so once added give a good mix so that the onions and capsicums get a good uh, roast and then add the whole masala that is the whole sauce we prepared with corn flour or maida and the sauces plus that is soya sauce and tomato ketchup with red chili powder and vinegar just add here the pulp which we have prepared just add here and let us mix it very well and now i'm emptying the jar with where i have crushed the ginger and garlic initially so with little water i emptied the jar this step you can omit if you don't uh, feel it is required so you can omit that if you feel that's not required and once a good heat around 2 to 3 minutes is over let's add our fried chicken pieces so once added let's give a good combine so that the whole masala that is the whole sauces capsicums onions and everything gets mixed up with our chili chicken pieces so chicken pieces yes and we are almost done with our recipe and finally we can garnish it with spring onion green and the white sesame seeds
so by adding sesame seeds uh, it's like bit more healthy because we, the sesame seeds are good for bones so yes a uh, white sesame seeds also gives a good taste here with uh, chili chicken and the goes our restaurant style chili chicken and do try this recipe it's very yummy it's very good combination for fried rice today we are serving it with fried rice so we say like it's adar combination yes it is so do try it out and also you can go ahead having this uh, chili chicken with chapati porota or even naans it's very good combination so for here we are going to prepare a simple fried rice and for that i'm taking around 2 cups of basmati rice here so the brand here you can see i have taken the alibaba brand and let's add the whole uh, rice and then let's clean it and keep aside So for our fried rice, we are making use of some special veggies and scrambled egg. For that, let's add oil to the pan. Here I have taken one and half tablespoons of olive oil. You can go ahead with the any oil you choose, and then here the scramble uh, the beaten eggs three beaten eggs here, and then scramble it once added. So the beaten eggs are like we will be adding this in the later part. So once scrambled, we will keep it aside. So here, while scrambling, we are not adding any uh, powders here. No salt, no powders. And once scrambled, let it take. Let us take it out and keep as it. Now, in the same pan, add add one tablespoon of olive oil here. I prefer olive oil for fried rice. And then goes a uh, chopped spring onion, and then one tablespoon of garlic chopped. So here, give a good mix. Once the spring onion green and the garlic chopped are added. So let it fry for some time, and the garlic should be like that of brownish texture. And after that, let's add our chicken strips. We have removed the flesh and kept aside for fried fried rice. So here I have added the chicken pieces, small strips, little small strips, as you can see. I as you can see in the video, I have removed the flesh and then I'm adding it here in a small strip. It should be very small so that only the chicken pieces will get cooked very well. So we are just sorting now. We are not going to further uh, further cook the chicken. So it will be just around 10 to 15 minutes. So we need to uh, make the chicken pieces very tiny, tiny strips. So that's the main part here. so let it cook for some time with the garlic and spring onion green let it cook further so as you can see on cooking mode the chicken pieces let it cook for further 10 to 15 minutes like in fry mode and when the chicken pieces becomes tender we can go ahead adding our next ingredients so as you can see i am going to stir in between otherwise the chicken pieces will stick to the bottom so in between you have to give a good stir otherwise the chicken pieces won't be of the texture we desire and then goes uh, half, one cup of chopped or sliced cabbage so fried rice is like a mixed of mix of veggies and here we are preferring chicken and egg to this kind of mixed fried rice so then go on adding a uh, capsicum one capsicum uh, long wise chopped and carrots handful of carrots long wise chopped give a good mix again so the carrots cauliflower so the carrots cabbage and the uh, capsicum gets a good nice sorry cauliflower is not the carrot capsicum cabbage chicken pieces gets a good coat with our garlic and spring onion green we added so let it uh, cook further for some time around 5 to 10 minutes it should be in high flame now and then go on adding the salt to taste according to your levels and then give a good mix again so here to neutralize the uh, veggies we are adding 1 teaspoon of sugar 
and then give a good combine again so as you can see here i am boiling the rice in between in the other stove and the rice part is done the rice part is like normally we prepare the rice right so one cup of rice goes one half to two cups of water i just added and then the rice has been cooked very well so i'm not i haven't strained the rice it's then that's the way that we have i have cooked with rice and water no straining here and once the rice is done the whole veggies the chicken pieces etc everything i'm going to add this to the fried rice so as you can see it's a kind of simple recipe and the mixing is like we are not adding rice to the veggies but the other part veggies to the rice so yes and once added give a good combine so initial at the end we will be adding the scrambled egg once the rice has been uh, combined with the veggies so as you can see the rice has been perfectly cooked and the uh, it, it has been overcooked too it is very perfect and very good texture now let's add our scrambled eggs and on top i forgot to add black pepper and soya sauce also you can go ahead adding it so and one teaspoon of vinegar three ingredients i have missed out here but then it was also very superb and the kids like i didn't add because the kids would have spiciness in the rice and they won't eat it so that's also the reason and then if you add these three ingredients pepper powder and vinegar plus soy sauce it's like our the restaurant style but then this is also a good combination for our chili chicken and kids would love this recipe because it's all it's the eggs and the chicken pieces they would definitely love it so do try this recipe and this will be also loved by everyone so as you can see our perfect fried rice and the combination so the side dish we are serving our restaurant style chili chicken so there goes our yummy lunch lunch combo alhamdulillah that was very superb lunch i would say and chicken was like very uh, very delight very soft and very tender kind and very very delicious very very flavorful i can also say that for two it was very flavorful so do try these recipes and alhamdulillah that was quite a good lunch for the day and also guys if you haven't subscribed our channel please do like share and subscribe please do give give a good big thumbs up if you like these recipes enjoyed these videos share it with your friends and family and also thank you so much for watching the our videos and do support do keep us encouraging and also please to include us in your prayers we definitely need your prayers and we will also do the same i also inshallah we shall be back with a new vlog soon so stay tuned this is me fazana signing off assalamu alaikum